Hello everyone, welcome to this session LLDP auto configuration demo in VXLAN eVPN programmable fabric. My name is Karthik and I'm a TME at Cisco. One of the main use cases of LLDP auto configuration is integrating the bare metal workloads. Bare metal workloads, as you already know, typically send untagged traffic. Using LLDP neighborship, the TLV's information, we use the MAC address and we query the end host table inside data center network manager or DCNM and we get the virtual network identifier or segment ID information. Using this information, we query the profile database and we pull the configuration template onto the switch to bring up the server dynamically onto the network. The added advantage we have using LLDP auto configuration is we not only provision the tenant but we configure the port with the native VLAN by picking a free VLAN from a dynamic pool. Administrator need not go to each switch and per port basis enable these VLANs anymore. This is done dynamically using the auto configuration of uh, LLTP. Let us go ahead and take a look at live demonstration. The goal of the demo is to provide tenant overlay configuration on the existing VXLAN eVPN fabric with LLDP as the trigger using DCNM10. I have a simple setup with the VXLAN eVPN fabric and Nexus 5600 series switches are used for the LLDP tenant automation for the overlay traffic. And today's focus would be on the one highlighted in the diagram where you have LLDP from the bare metal server towards your Nexus 5600 device on port 127. This is the flow that we will cover in the demonstration. We will create overlay network for the tenant 2 in DCNM 10 and then we would create bare metal entry for the MAC address and we verify on step 2 that there is no overlay configuration present then we would unshed the port 127 that connects to the bare metal server to trigger the LLDP auto configuration. Step 3 we would check that we get the overlay tenant configure, configured for the for that particular port and then we would also check connectivity from the bare metal to the gateway on the switch. This is the DCNM10 UI which is a HTML5 based and currently our focus is on uh, 5600 this switch here. So we go to configure and then under the LAN fabric automation we go ahead and create a network for tenant 2 After the network is created, we would go to the end host table and create the MAC entry for the bare metal server. Let us get the MAC address. This is the bare metal server and here is the MAC address for the bare metal server, the NIC MAC address and we go here and add that. And then we would use the VNI that we used for the network definition. Now let us go to the switch and verify the port configuration. This is the CLI that tells us to do the LLDP auto configuration on the port. 
right now on the switch there is no overlay configuration created for in for 10 and 2 let us go ahead and shut down unshut the port 127 to trigger LLDP auto configuration We now get the add success status that means the auto configuration succeeded for this port. Let us look at the port configuration. This is neat. You also get the automation on the per port basis. The switch is able to select a free VLAN uh, from the pool and configure, configure that on the port. Let us look at the overlay configuration for that particular 10 and 2 under the BGP. So this is all got automatically downloaded into the switch once we have done the LLDP auto configuration. So we now have reachability to the bare metal on the network. If you want to see the profile information, this is the done by LLDP and the profile is active on, on the port. And this is the, this is the more detailed command to give you the profile information. With this, I would like to conclude the demo and uh, thanks for watching.